Hi, it's Deborah Rodriguez from Baby Wing Canada here at the J JPMA Baby Show in Washington. And I must admit that although I'm here for the baby carriers, I do sometimes see some really neat things. And I'm here at the Swadu booth. And I had to double check on that because my script reading is a little bit out of practice. So there's their display. And as you can see, they specialize, I'm just going to walk over here to all of these babies all swaddled up. They specialize in a, in a swaddler. It's what we're going to be looking at today. And you can see like, okay, I'm going to put this really close so you can see. There's no zipper sound from the Velcro coming apart, guys. This is amazing. So we're just going to have a look here. It's a very simple product and I'm going to get Judy's help. To Hello, show it. Judy. Nice meeting everybody. Nice. Nice meeting you too. So we have our baby and we have our swaddler here. Can you show us how the baby goes in? Yes. Have a baby against the shoulder line. We bring the hands into the middle to support their neural development. We bring the right wing and the left wing over. Tuck the feet under and cover it up. And that's it. And you have your swallow, nicely swallowed baby. Yeah, and it was, you saw how easy it was, but then what Judy was telling me is that it allows for these, like, you, uh, sorry, I can't get over how quiet this is, these micro adjustments so that if your baby needs it tighter, you don't need to undo the whole thing. I'm just going to rotate the doll. So there's also two of these uh, adhering strips here as well, and it kind of sticks to the pad. And what was really interesting about this is we have a tendency to think, you know, that swaddle products are just for that time, you know, when the baby's got a deep moral reflex and we want to prevent the startle from waking them up. But this transitions. So can you show me um, with the arms, like the different stages that it goes through? Yes, definitely. So when babies start learning self-soothing, having the finger in their mouth is really important. You could swallow it with one hand underneath the chin so they have easy access to their finger. And again, you can tighten it up to make it adjustable. And that's it. So no. that's for eating their finger. So that's, so what basically happens is as your baby is growing, it has to figure out where it lies in space because in the womb it was all scrunched up and it got used to that. And so part of that is being able to access different parts of its body in order to figure out what belongs to the baby and what doesn't belong to the baby. It's called body mapping. And when the baby uh, continue? Yes. And when the baby continue to do the transition, we can wrap with just one arm out and the other arm still nicely snug inside. And I see, yeah, and I see this a lot in baby carriers. Sometimes when your baby's unhappy, instead of having two arms out, if you just take one arm out, and they're suddenly a lot more relaxed and a lot more chill. But this goes even further. When baby completely outgrows more reflex, we can bring both hands out, and it just becomes a sleeping bag. So one product really grow with the baby, and you get a lot of usage out of it. So then you see that it turns into a sleeping bag. Now you showed me how easy it was to access for diaper changes. Diaper changing, yes. You don't have to worry about waking baby up in the middle of the night, which is a big plus for parents. You turn this up and the diaper comes out like this. Yeah, look at how easy that was. That was amazing. Judy, thank you so much for showing the product to me. Thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you later. Bye.